bless you everyone god bless you i am kimberly brown phillips here to give you your mid-august worship art encounter 2020 update i pray that everyone has had a blessed day and just is enjoying the conclusion of summertime so my announcements are I hope you're excited because we are as well. So we, um, as you noticed, because you've probably seen the Facebook post by now or have gotten an email that we have um, made virtual accommodations to attend the Worship Arts Encounter if you're, um, if you cannot, if you cannot physically make it. So the deadlines are going to change just a little bit. The deadline for in-person registration, that's if you physically want to come to Pennsylvania or if you're already in Pennsylvania, if you physically would like to come, then my husband just texted me. <laughs> so if you physically want to, to come, then it's uh, deadline is still September the 30th. All right, it's still September the 30th. If you want to attend virtually, the deadline for registration is October the 23rd. All right, so in, in if you're gonna attend in person, September the 30th, if you're going to attend virtually, then the deadline is going to be October the 23rd. Now, this is an important note. We are capping on-site registration to 30 people, 30 people, all right? We are going to um, maintain a, a, a healthy and safe environment for all. Now, regarding the hotel, the Doubletree Hotel and Suites in Pennsylvania, there are no restrictions. We can actually have the maximum capacity for that room, which is 100 people, but we are making the cap at 30. All right, so the hotel doesn't see you know any reason why um, anyone should not feel safe coming into the Double Tree Hotel or into the meeting room space, right? And we're going to, um, I mean, the theme is thunder and lightning. Can you imagine the type of encounters that we're going to have? Listen, you're not even going to be thinking about COVID. All right, so remember those dates. If you if you if you're planning on attending in person, and if you have not registered, please hurry and register not only because the deadline is september the 30th but our cap is 30 people so once we get really close we're going to start giving you guys a countdown of how many spaces that we have left but we you know we are half past past the halfway point at this point all right so if you're planning on attending in person register before the only option will be virtual which closes on october the 23rd and we're doing that is because we want to make sure that we have everyone locked in and that we can plan accordingly especially with the online accommodations we want to make sure that everyone has all of their um their passwords and access information days prior to the event so that you know as soon as we start streaming you are right with us it's going to be a power packed encounter experience unlike anything that you have ever experienced if you have attended last year's worship arts encounter or even um, the year prior to that then you know that you know we don't we we come ready to seek God we come ready for an encounter we we come ready to soak in his presence amen we come ready to see signs and wonders and to hear from heaven we had such a beautiful time last year and there was there was a moment where the presence of God just was he, he was so his his do you see I'm getting like tongue tied, but his glory was so tangible that we were silent with no music for I don't know how long the whole place silent, no music. And we just sat my God in his presence. That's what we're going after. That's what we're seeking. We're not, we're not here to put together some, you know, dance thing or, you know, it's all, we're not about that. We already know who we are. We know that we're graced in the worship arts. We want to shift. Amen. We, we want, we, we want to have encounters like Revelation 4 and Revelation 19. That's what we're going after. And if you were as hungry as we are, you need to register. 
I'm telling you, you need to register. We have some profound speakers. They are already profound, already prophetic. The teaching that they received is, is directly from the throne room. But I'm telling you, God is going to do something spectacular even with our session leaders. We have Jamie Fitt, a profound man of God. My husband and I are, are honored honored just to you know serve with him and, and call him our 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 friend and our brother and our like you know off um a, a faraway mentor so to speak because we really look up to him and honor him and his ministry and his family we also have e daniels pastor ernest daniels who is like you know a brother to my husband and i an older brother to us um a mentor as well but you know very profound and has such 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 a heart and a love for god we have absalon mitchell i mean there he he can do so much but he's he he is prophetically graced in the area of music and prayer and teaching intercept i mean the list goes on and, and on and he's gonna he's carrying a word for us as well amen we have a uh, pastor tony mccleave who's going to be with us who you know i, I he he's just he <laughs> he's so profound and, and just carries such a, a, a heavy weight of glory with him uh, he's our Friday night session leader, and I'm telling you, I don't even, I don't know if we're going to be able to walk out of there because we're going to be just covered and submerged with God's presence. We're going to smell like the throne room. Listen, that's my prayer that, you know, as we go in, that God begins to awaken our senses, that we literally begin to smell the coals of fire that are burning on the altar, that we come out of there smelling like smoke. Amen. And then we have my husband and I who are honored to not only host, but also to be session leaders. Listen, we're all going to be on our face. We're all going to be seeking God for 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 his freshness specifically for this encounter this is not just a conference this is not just another event that you're going to go to this is not that this is something that you have to hear the call from the holy hill of god amen he's telling us to climb the mountain the Bible says that who can ascend the holy hill of God, those that have clean hands and a pure heart. So, you know, we're going to be going through some consecration and some fasting individually because we're going to climb the hill of the Lord. Amen. And we're going to have, you know, encounters and burning bush experiences and, you know, ships like Ezekiel and awakenings like Isaiah. Listen, I am so, so excited. Registration fee, whether you're uh, attending online or on site, is the same fee. It's a hundred dollars straight. I think it's a fair, you know, amount for the caliber of uh, session leaders that we're going to have. We're going to have longer sessions than what we did last year. We're going to have breaks in between, but we're going to have time when we can really, you know, hear from God, reflect. That's really what we're going after: the Word of the Lord. To reflect on his word because when we come off of that mountain when we come down the holy hill of the lord we're going to be transformed we're going to be changed your ministry is never going to be the same again listen last year's encounter shifted us we haven't been the same since last year and i, I just can't wait i can't wait until this year come ready come expecting come expecting come expecting don't come like this is just a random thing because it's not this is not random this is strategic this is in the mind of god that is manifested right before our very eyes amen if you would like to find out more about our speakers if you would like to you know find out more about the double tree hotel and suites you know the location and, and all of that you can go to our website at worshiparts2020.com that's worshiparts2020.com and there you'll be able to find a lot more information we also will have vendors on site amen uh, our first vendor is worship with flags um, head designer and founder and president is Kalita Miller. And if you are not familiar with her minute business street or her products, please check out her Facebook page at Worship with Flags. She has many offerings. I mean, we're, Christ Center is stocked 
with her um, with her tools and my daughter is actually stocked with a little flag bag and I think she has about four I think she has two two sets of flags and two streamers from Kalita so um, yeah so go to her support her Facebook page support her business street as well and listen if you have a product or or something related to worship arts and you're looking to become a vendor in our marketplace during the worship arts encounter information will be on the website as well but know that the vendor fee includes the, your registration fee as well so you pay the one price registration fee and the vendor fee and you're good to go Amen. Vendors will get a dressed six foot table and plenty of time for people to, you know, support you and shop, so to speak, but, you know, support and sew into your business. And we want to make room for that. Amen. All right, guys. So listen, I think I told you everything, but I do want to recap just in case there are people that are just coming on watching. So if you're uh, registering, if you if you are planning on attending on site registration will close september the 30th we just want to lock the door because we want to be able to prepare for you we have some you know gifts and some other things that we want to do and our intercessors also and our team uh, 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 coordination team prays for the names so we call out your names and we pray for you so we want to have enough time to be able to do that amen so september 30th remember we're only accepting 30 registrations just 30 people can register for the worship arts encounter that is not a hotel restriction because right now the hotel does not have any where the hotel is located they 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 don't have any you know cases high number of spikes of covid or, or anything like that it's it, it is a safe environment all right so right now i mean they're not even um requiring us to wear a face mask inside of the room amen so though though our capacity is a hundred for the for the space that we have we are reducing our number to 30 so hurry if you are planning to attend virtually you have until october the 23rd right october the 23rd and we're doing that a few weeks prior to the worship rights encounter because we want to be able to get all of the information to you to make sure that you're able to access the encounter as soon as we stream live because we are streaming every session live we're going to hit stream and we're going to let it go. There are some times that we are going to, you know, talk to you directly, but for the most part, we're just going to hit it and go live. For those of you that are interested in the detailed schedule of the blocks of time, you can find that out on our website at worshiparts2020.com. All right. Our Oh, we're also having the CCD School of Ministry graduation. We did it last year in conjunction with the Worship Arts Encounter, and it went so well that we're going to do it again. Amen. So if you are a CCD graduate or, or going through your graduation process, then congratulations. Um, but we are having the CCD graduation um, on one of the larger break times on Saturday during the Worship Arts Encounter. Speakers include Jamie Fitt, E. Daniels, also known as Pastor Ernest Daniels, Absalon Mitchell, Pastor Tony McLean, my husband, Yul Phillips, and myself, Kimberly Brown Phillips. And then I told you about the website. Um, flat fee for those that are registering online or on site. It's the same registration because you're literally getting the same content. We are believing God that even as you're watching virtually, you're going to have an encounter. Amen. So prepare yourself, you know, as you're watching virtually, prepare yourself just like we are. Prepare yourself because God is going to give you an encounter in your home while you're watching it on any type of device. You know, if you have a smart TV, you'll be able to, to connect to the Internet at that at that time or at, at that way on your on your smartphones, on your laptop, on your tablet. Listen, on any mobile device, on any computer or laptop, you will be able to access the Worship Arts Encounter virtually and be with us. Amen. All right, I think that's it. Um, oh, another thing, lastly, too. We do have a hotel group rate. 
So if you're planning on staying overnight at the Doubletree Hotel and Suites, it is a really nice hotel. It is, it's really nice and comfortable and beautiful rooms, spacious rooms. If you are looking to stay there, then there is a discounted rate. You can either call registration or, you know, call their reservation line, or you can do it online. But the code is available on the CC, on the CC, on the Worship Arts Encounter website. So if you just go on uh, worshiparts2020.com and click on uh, hotel accommodations or host host facility, I believe that's the tab name, you'll be able to find more information about the Doubletree Hotel and Suites. If you're not familiar with that area, it is situated kind of in, in the hub of, of a business district in uh, Plymouth Meeting directly across the street from the Plymouth Meeting Mall that has plenty of shops, plenty of eateries. Also, if you go maybe about a two miles up, maybe three miles, two, three miles up, there is a shop right and there's two large shopping centers. Listen, we, we went to shop right and bought some stuff last year and brought it back to our hotel room so that, you know, as we went um, to the sessions back and forth, we would keep, we come, we can come back and refresh ourselves. So if you're staying on, uh, on site, then, you know, take advantage of, of the area. We will have have break times that you can do that we have you know uh, lunch that's longer lunch times that are longer than an hour they're about an hour and 45 minutes which should give you enough time to kind of you know, refresh yourself get situated listen during some of the lunch times we just stayed in the room for a little bit we just <laughs> we just lingered and I can certainly see us doing that this year as well and we want to leave some time open for that our prayer sessions are going to be powerful. Last year, I mean, it was, it, it is, it's another session in and of itself. It, it's another experience that you can have with the Father to cultivate your intimacy with Him or just to lay before the, the Lord or, or just to, you know, worship in your our artistic expression. We're going to have our prayer session uh, the first thing in the morning. Uh, last year it was at 7 a.m. and then we had a break and then we had our first session. This year it's going to be at 8 a.m. and it's just going to flow right into session one on Sat on Friday and on Saturday. So there's going to be two um, one hour 60 minute sessions, uh, seeking sessions and prophetic intercession, prophetic worship sessions in the morning. And then right before the evening session there's a prayer time as well well ah oh, all right guys I think I'm at 17 minutes now so I think I have made everything clear if not um, we're gonna be doing more updates for you um, maybe on a weekly basis to keep everyone connected to keep everyone posted we have some testimonial videos that are be coming up that we want to share with you guys of people that attended the worship arts encounters uh, last year and the previous year we're also going to be doing a live with some of those people as well and some of the uh, worship arts encounter team uh, I think the second week of September we're going to be doing a live here just to you know share and again to keep everyone connected with the most current information but listen if you are planning on coming register either online which the registration closes October the th uh, August I'm sorry no, October, <laughs> October the 23rd, or if you are uh, coming on site, then registration closes September 30th, but our cap is 30. So if you are trying to come in person, don't delay and register. Amen. All right, guys, listen, it's going to be, I know I keep talking on and on, but this because we've been, you know, we've been praying into this since last year. We've been praying into this last year and you know when you when you have something that's in your spirit for so long you know you just you have an expectancy and God honors that you know he's at one instance he has shown me what what one of the sessions is going to be like and all I saw was people laying prostrate with their faces to the ground and the the um, clouds were covering them it was just this the cloud of the Lord was just um, hovering over everyone as we prostrated ourselves before his presence 
it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. So that's it for tonight. Summer will be on next week to give you another update and to keep everyone connected and current with the most, um, with, with, the, with the happenings of the Worship Arts Encounter. All right, until next time, have a blessed night.